Resafloor utilizes intuitive floor-by-floor -floor model input to design and optimize building systems constructed of composite and non-composite steel, concrete, masonry, wood, and cold form steel. In this video, we will look at the available reporting options within Resafloor. Here I have a fully designed model as well as results that are ready to be printed or compiled into a report. This could be for a plan checker or even to facilitate further design coordination with a colleague. Like most software, printing is done by clicking on the printer icon located at the top of the screen. However, Resafloor is different in that printing options change depending on the currently active window. For example, if I go ahead and have a spreadsheet set as the active window, and I go ahead and click the printer icon, I can choose to print the selected lines, the current spreadsheet as a whole, or I can use the report printing options to print multiple spreadsheets at one time. We'll go ahead and take a look at this option when we have gathered the necessary information to compile a much more comprehensive report. Alternatively, if I have a graphical window open, such as my plan view here, and go ahead and click the printer icon, I'm presented with several different options compared to the last window for how the graphical view should be printed, such as portrait or landscape mode, the scale for the text, the scale for symbols and diagrams in the graphical view, a sketch number and its prefix, as well as any additional comments I'd like to include in the title bar. Lastly, if I go ahead and open up a detail report for a specific member, I can print that detailed report simply by clicking the print button located at the top. Now it's rare that you will have a report of just a single graphical view, a single spreadsheet, or a single detail report. Typically there will be a mix of all three of these options. In this case, I can easily make graphical views and detail reports available for printing alongside all of the spreadsheets by taking what's called a snapshot. Let's say our primary focus is on these red lateral elements in our model. We can create a graphical view to be included in our report that shows the member labels simply by first turning on the member labels themselves. And I actually have a saved selection state already in my model called lateral members. So I'll go ahead and retrieve that. And now you can see the labels for my lateral members are the only things that are being shown. Now I can create that graphical print or snapshot by clicking this little camera icon at the top. I'll go ahead and name this something convenient such as member labels, click continue, and we'll go ahead and save this file. I will also open up that detail report that we were looking at earlier and get this ready to be added to our fully compiled report as well once again by clicking on this camera icon at the top. That should be good for the time being. Since I am focused only on the lateral members, I want to create a report that excludes everything else in my model. I can easily do this by clicking the exclude button over on the left hand side. By doing this, the spreadsheets and printed reports will now be updated so that they only have results for the currently active selected lateral items in my model. We should now be ready to compile the report. Let's click the printer icon and select print a report. This window provides us with the tools to generate a more comprehensive report. In the middle, you can see all the available spreadsheets that can be added to the report. On the right, you can see all of the spreadsheets that I've already added to the report. I can easily remove items from my active report by simply highlighting them and clicking the remove button. Conversely, I can also add things into my report by highlighting them and clicking the add button. This location may not be optimal for the report I just added. I can simply highlight it and click the up arrow to change its location within the report. Let's go ahead and add the snapshots we took a look at earlier as well. 
This is done by clicking the Add Images or Documents button. Once they're added, they'll show up in the Additional Reports section of our Printing Report window. I'll go ahead and highlight them individually and add into my report. And perhaps I want to adjust where these are located. Now, before I print, I might want to save this report layout for later use by clicking the Save button and giving it a name. For example, let's call this lateral. This way, if anything changes in my model and I need to reprint this report, I can do it very quickly and easily by selecting that report name. Notice there are a couple of other report names built into the program. Now that our report is ready to be printed, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Create PDF option. This way we can take a look at the report. Let's give it a name, we'll save it, and then the report will open. Notice the report is in the order of how we specified it in the report selection. We have the uniform area loads, the combinations, the beams are limited to the excluded beams that we had selected. We have hot roll column checks, here is our member labels page, the detail report, as well as our material takeoff. Creating reports is an essential step in the design process of a given structure. For more information about report printing options in RISA Floor, please visit our website, risa.com.